The Honorable Assistant Minister Sakyusa Tubuna, Cabinet Ministers, Members of Parliament, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Distinguished Guests. My name is Andreas Brodmann and I'd like to thank you for honoring us today with your presence. It's my priv privilege to warmly welcome all of you. On 8th of August, I presented my credentials to the Honorable President Rato Vilhamil Cantonivere. This morning, the Honorable Prime Minister Sitiveni Rambuka gave us the honor to inaugurate Germany's newest embassy here in Suva, together with a special envoy to the Pacific Island States, Ambassador Beate Jeski. This marks a historic moment in German Fiji relations. This is not only Germany's first embassy on the Blue Continent, with an ambassador accredited directly to and resident in Fiji. This is an embassy opened just in time on our 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Germany and Fiji, which began on 1st of August 1973. A year ago, during her visit to Palau, Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock laid out her vision for having an embassy in the Pacific. And here we are today. This would not have been possible without the strong support of the Fiji government. I would like to say Vinaka Vakalevu to our hosts for all their support and warm hospitality. I would also like to thank my team for their excellent work setting up this embassy in record time. Our new embassy is testament to Germany's determination to deepen our relations and friendship with Fiji. We, took, we look forward to working with all partners in government, civil society, media, the diplomatic community, and international organizations. We hope to make contributions in development, trade, culture, in tourism, sports, and combating climate change. Together with the delegation of the European Union, the embassies of France and Spain, we are also here to strengthen Team Europe in Fiji. We had hoped that Minister Baerbock would inaugurate the embassy in person today. Unfortunately, technical problems with the aircraft prevented her from coming to Fiji. I was asked by the minister to convey to you her deep regrets. Thus, the minister will be addressing us now in a video message. I will give the floor, the virtual floor, to the minister. Thank you. Pula Vinaka. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry that I cannot be with you in person today. I had been looking forward to meeting you, to discuss the challenges that you face in your beautiful country and in the whole Indo-Pacific region. And most of all, I had been looking forward to celebrating our friendship. And then, only days before I was due to arrive, technical problems with our plane prevented us from coming to your region. And I can't tell you how deeply I regret that. My colleagues in Suva have told me about the enthusiastic welcome that they have received in Fiji over the past few months as we work towards the opening of our first embassy on the Blue Continent. So my heartfelt thanks go to our partners in the government of Fiji, who have made this possible. Thank you. Vinaka Vaka Levu. I would also like to thank my colleague Beate Czeski, who has been traveling across the island states as our special envoy over the last few months. And I would also like to thank our advanced team, Melanie Freund and Gerhard Ruckerbauer, who have been working here in Suva since the spring to make this day possible. For us, the opening of our embassy marks a historic moment. We are giving our presence in Fiji on the Blue Continent a roof. And more importantly, we are giving it a face with Ambassador Andreas Brutmann, who is now taking up his duties. I believe this step comes at a crucial moment, at a time of enormous global challenges that we can only address if we stand even closer together. 
Most of all, this concerns the biggest security challenge of our times, the climate crisis. In your region, which many in Europe are familiar with as an incredible, beautiful holiday paradise, this crisis is robbing people of their livelihoods through the rise in sea levels and extreme weather events. Had it not been for the problems with our planes, we would have had visited the villages of Wuni Niu, Drovo, and Togu Chu, here in Fiji. I'd been looking forward to meeting men and women from these communities, to listen to them, to hear their concerns about the crisis that is forcing them from their homes, from their homes, from their lives. The government of Fiji has identified more than 600 communities threatened by rising sea levels. You, the big ocean states, have been ringing the alarm bells for years, if not decades. You have been the th driving force behind international efforts to address this crisis. And I can assure you that we not only hear your calls, that we do not only open an embassy, but that we stand with you in this endeavor. Distinguished guests, opening the embassy in Suva is not only a milestone in our bilateral relations with the Republic of Fiji, but also in relation to the Pacific Island Forum and Pacific Island states in general. And we are here to listen to your interests and concerns. Since last October, I traveled in my role as Special Envoy to 13 Pacific Island states and I saw that climate change is an existential threat to all of them in one way or the other. And I also experienced the unified voice the region is representing in the Global Fora as the UN. In that respect, PIF's role as an amplifier of this specific voice is of great value. The 2050 strategy for the Blue Pacific continent is a strong signal for a common regional vision towards climate change and beyond. And the strategy is an important guideline for Germany to identify the key needs of the Pacific Island states and align our activities with it. And as Minister Annalena Baerbock just said, we want to listen, we want to understand better and we want to ensure that we implement what we promise. And for that, we have to be more present on site. And we can be confident that the Team Germany, or the Team Deutschland, is not starting from zero. The GIZ, the Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, is in the region since 1976. It has an office in Suva and has been successfully working for nearly 50 years years too. And we can also strongly rely on our honorary consul in Nadi, Mrs. Monika Oldenburg and her team. Together with our visa and consular team in the embassy in Wellington, they continue to ensure a competent and friendly service to our German citizens abroad. Our commitment to the Pacific is a long-term one. The new embassy we have been opening today is the single for that. Ambassador Brotmann will now further deepen relations with the PIF Secretariat and its member states. As of September, I will stay related to the region when taking over as the new German ambassador to Australia. Thank you very much for the excellent cooperation and the good advice I was privileged to receive from many of you. Without you, we would not have been able to celebrate today's opening. Bula Vinaka. Nisam Bula Vinaka. Ambassador Beat Griski, Special Envoy for Germany to the Pacific States. Ambassador of Germany in Fiji and the Pacific, Dr. Andreas Prothehman. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Nisam Bula Vinaka. On behalf of the government of Fiji, I'm pleased to join you today at this reception, marking the establishment of Germany's newest and first diplomatic mission 
here in Fiji and to the region. There is no better flagship to mark the 50th anniversary of Fiji-Germany relationship. Our collaboration with Germany through the European Union has produced benefits in many sectors of development. This has been enhanced through existing programs facilitated by the GIZ, the Germany Development Arm. In saying this, I fully acknowledge the work that the GIZ has undertaken in Fiji and the region. With Germany's 2022 Indo-Pacific policy, placing a stronger focus on the Blue Pacific and the island states, and opening a resident mission here in Suba affirms that commitment and takes our relationship to another level of more collaboration, cooperation, and dialogue. As we dialogue and work more closely together, we will find many new areas which we can cooperate, opportunities to explore bilaterally and on global issues such as climate change and protecting our marine and coastal biodiversity. I thank Ambassador Griski for traveling to Fiji, representing the Honorable Minister Baerbock and the government of Germany, and your colleagues and families who will now call Fiji home for the next few years. Welcome to Fiji, and I'm confident that the opening of this new embassy will herald a new era in our relationship and close cooperation to a prosperous and successful relationship. To Fiji and Germany.